floor, shampooing and cleaning up. Hey, gotta get it done. That was the last time I, I ran. And the last time I walked for exercise was March 17. And so I've been waiting for a date to get an MRI. And this letter right here says that, oh yes, yes, yes. I have an appointment for an MRI on April 11. That is next week, Monday, exactly one week away. And um, <laughs> I can't wait. I can't. Good morning. It is Monday morning, April 11, 2022. And I'm here in the city of Colton, California. And the place, the venue is Arrowhead Regional Medical Center. I'm here because it is time to get an MRI on my left knee. Yeah, I'm here early. It's about 10. Uh, yeah, it's about 10 minutes to 10 o'clock. My appointment is, is, is at 11 o'clock. So I'm going to be in the office to check in at 10.15. I'm in the parking lot. All I have to do is to change into my um, medical clothes, <laughs> a pre presentable clothing my uh, jeans and my sweater. And I'll just walk down, it's about five, four to five minute walk right to the, to, to the hospital entrance. Yeah, I'm excited. See what happens with the MRI to the left knee. Yeah, I, I also have my pain medication. I have to show up with these medications in case they wanna see what they are. And I haven't used any of them yet. It's a cream with gel. And also the, I, I showed you 100, uh, and, uh, no, 240. A pharmacy team member will be with you shortly. I said, uh, you. Fetamin. Yeah, I said the fet, I said the minofin. I said the minofin. <laughs> you gotta say it right, yeah. But I, I don't use pain medication. And I don't really have pain in the knee except when I try to run and I haven't tried any running since February 27, so. are you doing? I'm doing great. I think I'm doing better than I was yesterday because of now I have some news, uh, uh, injury report update. Yes, today's April 13 and I just came back from a visit to Dr. Ahmad. She was able to fit me in this morning early, right after 8 o'clock, 8 a.m. 
and uh, she was able to read my MRI, the, the magnetic Renaissance imaging pictures that I took on Monday. And the results show that all my ligaments are still intact, which is great and uh, great news. Also, it shows that the fracture, there are two fractures. I thought there, it was only one fracture, but the fracture in the knees to the patella and also a fracture to the tibia. And those are healing up slowly, but they are healing up. So my doctor wants me to stay off my uh, feet, uh, well, stay off my uh, left knee. And she also reported that they saw fluid and uh, an inflammation in, in, in the knee, in the left knee. And so I am, uh, I don't really have pain in the knee as such, but I'm using my cane, a walking cane to stay off, uh, to, to keep the, the weight off the knee. And I have absolutely stopped any walking for exercise and absolutely not even thinking or entertaining the idea of running right now. And I got a call this morning when I was driving in the car and the call <laughs> is good news. Tomorrow at 1.20 p.m. I'm going in to get a DEXA scan for my bone density uh, status. They want to see what my bones are doing. Are my bones brittle and breaking? Do I have uh, osteopenia? What is it that's making my, um, my uh, bones fracture? They probably think there's some deficiency, but I know it's not a deficiency. It's accidents, <laughs> trip and fall accidents that's making the, uh, the, 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 uh, the bone crumble and fall or fall, uh, fracture, actually. They're not crumbling and falling, but we'll find out. And another great news is that I have my, finally, an uh, appointment to see orthopedic but it is not until May 19. <laughs> it's 31 days away. But um, I'm uh, going to count those days down with great anticipation because then I will finally get to the department and the specialists that deal with the knee. And I'll know what damage is done, what uh, the prognosis and the diagnosis and uh, sorry the diagnosis and find out what the treatment plan will consist of and according to my doctor according to dr hamad orthopedic they take knee injuries seriously so that sounds good sounds like they'll be you know doing due diligence to get the knee back into function and